Hi everyone, this is a quick video on the new, it's actually beta at the minute, but I think it's very imminent to come out. Um, the new OSX Mountain Lion, I'll just show you. And as you can see here, it, it is 10.8.2. Um, and, it, and it implements the, if you go up here now, you can just click on this tab and you can straight send a message to your Facebook and just post something on the wall from there. Um, and it's got some improvements on the iMessage, which is all working now, and the other features. Now, I'd just like to say that this is more for Hackintosh users, really. Um, if, when I upgraded this, before you restart, you're best doing it before you restart, I had to download three Kex files, or back up. You could probably just back up these three Kex files that you see here. It's the Apple Ace... Ace, well, I'll just say Apple ACPIP platform dot kext, IOPCI family dot kext, and IOUSB family dot kext. Now, I'm not quite sure if you actually need to use all three of them, but I read on the internet that you did, and I've replaced those three. And otherwise, you won't boot. Um, so you need to. What I do is before you run the update. Get those three Kex files, go to your extension folder, um, back them up, run the update, and then just use Kex utility and drag those three back in, and it'll make a backup of the new ones, which are useless anyway, and put those back in, and your 10.82 will run perfectly fine. Um, trim, I couldn't get Trim to work. I will just show you this. I uh, Hang on. I'll just, it's not on that hard drive, it's on this one. No, it's not on that one either. It's on this one. <laughs> if we go back to the Mountain Lion, um, here we go. I had to type in, you can message me, but I had to type in this command there um, because multi-beast wouldn't work and I couldn't get trim enabled. So it was really easy to do, to be honest. Um, I'll just check, but I'm quite sure that my trim is enabled now. And you can see their trim support, yes. And and it seems to be running great and fantastic. So I hope this helps anybody who's wanting to upgrade to 10.8.2, especially Akintosh users. Um, like I say, I'm not sure if you need to use all three of those kecks, but that was what was on the internet. Um, and it hadn't done no harm, and this has been running now for 24 hours on the three Kex files, and I've not turned off the computer because I don't turn it off anymore. Um, I'd like to just mention in this video, and I might do a separate video, that I've got a Z77-DS3H motherboard and an AMD Radeon HD6870 graphics card. Now, I've downloaded the app called Please Sleep, you can download an app called Please Sleep, and it's free from Apple. You just type it in, and it's a free app. Um, and, I mean, Apple have brought it out anyway, so it, they must be having problems with actually original Macs going to sleep. And what I found out is that the computer sleeps fine now, but what was happening was I was losing USB on the wake-up. Now, to anybody that that's happening to, I've found out a, a really easy solution to fix it, and it were by fluke, really. Instead of, when your computer goes to sleep, don't wake it up by clicking your mouse or pressing your keyboard. Press the power button on your base unit, and it comes on and all your USB works and everything. But if you wake it up with a keyboard, I find out I've got to unplug the keyboard into the computer and back in to get my USBs back up and running. Um, but if I use the power button to turn it back on, voila, my USBs and everything work without pissing around with BIOS. I, I, re I know a lot of people are going on about BIOS settings and stuff like that, but I, mine's just default. I, I mean, obviously, I've set it to AHCI, um, and the I position event timer is enabled anyway, and that's basically all I really needed to do. I'm on F8 BIOS. Download the Sleep app. It's free. It's a proper Mac piece of software. Um, and bang, everything works now. I just use my power button to wake my computer back up instead of waggling my keyboard or my mouse. And it works a treat. Anyway, I hope this video helps on 10.8.2. 
Um, I haven't really looked into it that much, but I put it in and I know that there's this game centre. I can't seem to get it to run. I don't know if it's because I'm on a Hackintosh. Um, I'm going to play with it later and I'm getting an error. Um, I don't know why. So I'll have a look into that anyway. But it's probably just something to do with my ID or I am paid for some, or something stupid. But Or it's um, at minute it's saying it's dead. So it's actually just a beta thing. So it might just log. I might need a different ID or something. But anyway, I hope this video helps. Thanks for watching and please comment and subscribe. Thank you.